Hi there, welcome to my channel, Creations by Crystal. I'm Crystal, and I'm tickled to death on this brand new idea that came to my mind that I wanted to create. It's going to involve what you can see right here, which are some air dry clay butterflies that are going to be on the canvas, part of the composition. Um, we also have some air dry uh, handmade flowers that are going to be part of the composition. And a glue gun, believe it or not. We're going to use a glue gun. And that it was inspired uh, to use a glue gun by AB Creative. Uh, go check her out. She is awesome. But she is uh, the person that inspired me to try using a glue gun on a composition or painting that I wanted to do. I have been lately into paint pours, but today we're going to do uh, some multimedia work which is going to be, I'm going to pencil draw uh, what we need, then we're going to come in and I'll show you what happens with the glue gun and move forward. Uh, painting of the butterflies, uh, that still needs to be done. And I won't keep you for everything. I'll try to, uh, you know, give you an idea of what's going on, uh, but not drag you through a lot of boring stuff, if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> so, here we go. Now, what I do, and I don't know about other artists, but I, at times, lay and think about what, you know, I am envisioning creating. And here's a couple of examples. I mean, nothing professional, please. Uh, you know, very, very rough. But in this little tiny area, I was thinking of this particular size canvas, 10 by 20, and what I'd like to do with it. And if you can see, what I've got here is a beautiful long stem. We've got some flower stems coming off the main stem, some leaves at the bottom, and I wanted to have some butterflies. So I have pretty much kind of sketched out the direction I want to go. Um, we'll also be using a blow dryer to spread our paint uh, after we've already put our uh, glue gun uh, down over our basic image uh, drawn that I just showed you that I'm just going to draw over here real quick. Um, okay, with all that, get a, uh, that's about it. Let me uh, get myself organized and set up. Make sure that my cat came by. By the way, I have a cat that you've heard, I'm sure, if you're a person that watches my videos, you've probably heard a meow a lot. So, oh, and one other tiny thing. When you have a can, even though it's brand new, right out of the package, it's loose a little bit. It gives quite a bit. A little trick to get your canvas tighter, okay, is to take a squirt bottle, and I want you to squirt it. Work well in the middle, in the uh, corners, and a semi medium light through the middle. But make sure to get those corners just like that. So I'm going to go ahead, like you've seen me do, right in front of you. That way, this I should have already had it done, guys, but I uh, forgot about it. But uh, that is a technique I use, and then just kind of do this. Let that air underneath it happen. In fact, what I'm going to do, I think, is put some hooks on the back so that this doesn't sit directly on my surface, too. All right, and uh, before we start, I'll, I'll let you hear how tight the canvas comes because it'll sound like a drum. Okay, with that, I'm going to get all the preparatory things done, and I'll be right back. Okay, here we are. I wanted to, I told you, I promised you to this beautiful drum sound. <laughs> so it sounds like a drum. I'm hoping it sounds like it to you too. <laughs> okay, here I'm drawing. Hopefully you can see the line, the main line there. 
and that is going to be our stem in which the flowers grow off of. Okay, and here I was thinking about putting in a beautiful leaf. These flowers are kind of a weed type of flower. So I'm, I'm imaging a type of leaf that you know, has the jagged lines, um, things like that. So as you watch me draw, that's this rough sketch, I can always alternate. But off of here are going to be the shoots of the flowers. And I may come in and just kind of outline where my flowers will be. Now, here's a flower that I made. We have a whole bunch of them over here. I think you can see them. Uh, they were, I made them handmade out of air dry clay and I painted them a pretty uh, yellow gold color from Arteza. On my other videos, I've been calling the paint Aztec for some reason. I'm so sorry. It's Arteza paint that I use. Okay. Anyway, the, so uh, what I'll do is just basically put a place to, as to where I'm going to be placing the flower, okay? All right, let's get on with my drawing. I, I don't want to, again, I'm always concerned about time. So you let, I'm going to let you see it just a little bit more. And, Visioning some that come out here more. And here I'm envisioning some here, uh, maybe one here, and definitely one here. Okay, and I also love to make fanciful um, I don't know what you'd call this uh, fanciful kind of things <laughs> they could be just branches whimsical I guess whimsical type of drawing okay there we go we are all drawed <laughs> I really hope you can see it I don't have the fancy equipment to be able to zoom in or, or anything, but I, I can see an image. I'm pretty sure you can. All right, so at this point here, next we're going to be using the glue gun. So I'm envisioning something like this. Okay. All right, going to start the glue gun here in a sec. Okay, we're at the glue gun part. I gave us a start right here, so you can kind of see what's going to happen. And this is a, a glue, just a glue gun. I recently got it, so this is a tryout with this one. My other one is so, it has a little bigger head on it, and it's not as easy. I'm I'm having good uh, luck with this coming out, but I'll go ahead and let's uh, finish this leaf here. And kind of, you can see what I'm doing, just a gentle pressure. And once you start seeing it coming, coming out nice, you kind of feel a little better. I stop at the parts where I, I want to point. If that makes sense. I don't know if that did or not. Okay. As I'm working, I can I can't talk, so I'm going to be quiet here.
So that is what I do. Everything that I've drawn, except for the placements of the flowers, I'm going to put a glue gun application. If the stem and everything. And you'll see that once you start rolling and you get comfortable with the gun, glue gun you're using, it'll flow better. So. I'm about to need a new stick. This glue gun takes baby sticks. I'm hoping I have another one. <laughs> okay. Let's see how much I can keep going to get. Alright. Gotta pause to get a new stick, guys. Hi, we've done quite a bit with the glue gun, but I, I uh, always get to thinking maybe guys want to watch uh, a little bit. So, I showed you the leaves earlier. I had to stop and get a glue gun, and then I went ahead and got done a little bit more so that your time... isn't wasted. You're pretty much glue gun drawing. <laughs> It's a lot of fun, really. I think we just have one more line. Like we got to give me a little go. I think it's because it, I don't know why. But I'm gonna win. There we go. Woo! Wow. Yes, that was a lot of fun. Wow. Hoping everyone can see it. I wish I had the option to give it to you in this mannerism. But there we go. We've got the glue gun. Now I will reinspect it. Make sure I didn't miss anything. But pretty sure I got everything. Uh, the next step is going to be to paint the canvas. Okay? Um, then we will then add the other elements, which are the air dry clay elements, which are flowers and butterflies. Thank you for hanging in this long. Two seconds. Okay, we got our paints all ready. Wanted to tell you a few things. Uh, this one is, I used um, some Windsor and Newton um, Viridian Green. Um, it's a beautiful green. 
I have it mixed right here. If y'all can see that pretty color. It's a very pretty, pretty color. So I wanted to pull that out of my paint. I usually have been using the Arteza because I noticed in my last <laughs> couple of videos I accidentally called Arteza um, Aztec for some reason. Uh, just because it's me, I guess. I'm dumb. <laughs> anyway, alright, here we go. This is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to use something new. Um, it is new to me. And this is not my idea. This actually is from AB Creative. Her brilliant ideas to control the airflow of the blow dryer so that I can blow the background of paint across our glue gunned drawing. Okay? So it's going to be a lot of fun to try. So get ready. Here we go. All I'm doing right now is dropping some tr paint choices that I made. One I just got through telling you about is this pretty green. Just giving it a, a little of that. Then I wanted to come in with some blue. Through here. Gonna see what happens with this. Add, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna add just a little more white. splash of gold. The last color I was thinking of was just a little bit of some blue. That might be a little too much blue. We'll see. Okay, now for the extra fun, we're going to use our blow dryer to move the paint.
was something. I lost electricity and everything. <laughs> Using that blow dryer like that. Now, I'm not sure how happy I am with this, okay? I may go wash it off. I know, look how the paint kind of did a clump on us. Yeah, not liking that at all. I don't know. I think what I'll do, go wash it off and we're going to start again. Okay, you really didn't think I was going to wash all the paint off, did you? Haha, <laughs> got you. It is a little technique that I found that I think makes a beautiful mosaic, is what I kind of feel. I don't know if that's the right term or not, but I enjoy this look right here. Um, I don't know, does that help any? Let's give you a look that away. It's not dry yet, okay? But you can see that the pattern and the drawing is still there. And it's going to be more visible as the paint dries. Yes, what you do to get this effect is do what I did. No, don't blow a breaker like I did. But <laughs> all you do is drip the paint like I did and come up with a way to make your blow dryer push out air. Uh, like this okay that controlled the air that I was able to push and move around and as I think I was half filming and half not because I had to I, I have a small workspace so I had to lift it up and stuff like that um, but yeah this is a tomato paste tomato paste uh, can that is put on my blow dryer and then I hammered the, well, I should say my husband did it, and he hammered it down. Now, at one point of this, it came off, and I think that's on the film. But anyway, it slips right back on, turned the lights back on, everything went fine. But, at the very, after you've done all your blowing with your blow dryer, okay, then, because I add a lot of paint when I do it, and I, I wanted a lot of white in it as well, and abstract so you just take it under the water running water in the kitchen and I simply let the run water run across the painting and let it drip off okay and uh, just a light layer it was like the first layer I was like wow that's perfect right there and I stopped and this is what you can get from that um, when I get a better extension cord and place to plug it in that doesn't uh, blow a, a breaker, uh, I will be able to show all of it to you. But I did have to stop it because of that. Um, and also, I played a little trick saying, oh, I'm going to go wash it all off and start again. No, I wanted to wash it off because I wanted to show you what a pretty uh, thing or a pretty thing that happens if you just run some water over the top of it and let some of the paint run off. I think I let it run off one of the directions anyway and then I just, you know, cleaned with water the sides. It's just acrylic and water so um, real easy. Real easy and I'm loving it. I think it's beautiful. It was what I was wanting. Um, so now is just the drying process and next is putting on our flowers that were made out of air dry clay I already showed those to you, and then uh, we're going to have to paint our butterflies, which are also going to be on here, and it'll be all done. So, I'll be back when this is dried, and we're on to the next step. Okay, here we are next. Our next step is painting our beautiful air-dry clay-made butterflies. Now, I have a video, maybe two or three back from this one that shows how to make a butterfly out of air dry clay from rolling it out, conditioning the clay, everything and how to make yourself one and also make yourself one that I didn't have to sand look at that no sanding needed um, and thin you, you know you don't want them too thick either and if you make them thick they will break because of the drying it won't dry well so, you've got to find that happy medium. 
but it's not that hard and I'm showing you and I think that video is really ex you know I try to explain it really clearly so I'm gonna go ahead and start painting these little cuties for our picture as it's now still drying um, I may have to come back uh, tomorrow and let this dry overnight actually and come back tomorrow because all this will need to dry and uh, you won't know that it'll be just in a split second and I'll be back off to painting these um, started to say I've also got a video on how to paint them as well so let's do that we'll save you time because we're at 27 minutes now so I'd like to have time to put everything on the canvas when it's dry and let y'all you know see how beautiful it's going to turn out so in a split second for you and I will uh, do that hello again part two of this beautiful painting it's all dried now, and you can see the glue gun image of what I drew. And now is going to be the painting of our butterflies. You can see I've started one year here, here, and here. <laughs> so I'm going to work on those butterflies, and then uh, we're also going to be placing my handmade uh, air dry clay flowers on. So, it turned out beautiful, it dried, just gorgeous. I really love this technique I stumbled on. Very beautiful. All right, I'm just going to set this aside and get back to painting. Um, what I do for painting on air dry cl clay uh, creations is I do use a pore medium inside of my paints, okay? Um, I pre-mixed uh, several colors that I was, uh, I'm going to go for as far as uh, painting the butterflies to land on the canvas. We've got some Viridian Green, which comes from Windsor and Newton. Uh, the rest of them are all Arteza paints. And in the past, I accidentally said Aztec. I'm so sorry about that. It is not. It is Arteza paints, okay? Colors I'm going to use is going to be the Viridian Green. We've got um, some Aztec Gold some pearl um, canary yellow uh, we're going to use some pearl white uh, so basically some mostly me me metallic colors okay so I'll let you see me do a little bit and then um, that way I don't take up a bunch of your time I'm sure you under you know how to pretty much hold a brush and paint right this is a small brush a number I think it's number four a very very small detailed brush and I'm dipping it in the Viridian green and and as you see because it's a, a paint pour medium you get that kind of a consistency um, so you just kind of dab the paint and move it around into the space that you're wanting to cover like I want this whole bottom here to be this pretty Viridian Green. And uh, like I said, you just do a little tapping. Don't be afraid to load your brush so you can drop that liquid in that space. And that's basically all I'm doing, okay? There we go. I'm going to continue these and get them all painted pretty and be right back. As we're going along, thought I'd give you an update. We've got these butterflies here that I've just painted the front of them and letting them dry. I have one more to go. <coughs> Excuse me. And I also will be painting the back of them. And we're almost at the fun part where we get to put it on the canvas and then highlight our drawing. So, I'll be right, uh, you know, in a second, right back. It's butterfly time. Yes. Uh, I know the last little second there was kind of a <laughs> wopsy doodle. Uh, 
uh, I had a problem with, uh, I was propping up the camera, uh, I mean the canvas, and it hit the camera and it shut it off, so I had to paste it together. My apologies for my uh, not so good editing skills, because I wish I could knew how to trim it off, but it may still be there. If it is, my apologies, and let's move on to the end of this, okay? I wanted to make this uh, relatively short, so at least less than 45 minutes, so um, let's get to going, and here's our butterflies. I'm so excited, and I checked all of here. I hit all the gold spots I wanted, and um, this is pretty much going to be a, a, a placement game again because I now uh, feel a little different as far as where I want the butterflies. So um, it's going to change, okay, maybe, because I'm really liking what I'm seeing there. I want it to be kind of aloof, yet there, and I really like the placement here. So let's give you a, be a better view than a bunch of uh, baby wipes everywhere. Um, make sure it's even, yes, okay, and maybe I can give you something of a view this away. And I will take pictures after they're glued all the way on. But just in fear of something else going wrong, I'm going to go ahead and just show you before I glue them down. What do you think, guys? I love it! If you've enjoyed this video, a triple up from a paint pourish idea to make a white canvas into a watercolor pattern or, or design. It looks like a watercolor wash. And that's what I wanted. And I love the colors. What do you think? Um, I love the homemade flowers, the homemade butterflies. Um, gosh, I'm in love with it. Um, tell me what you think about it. Be honest. Let me know. Um, please leave in the comments anything you'd like to see me do another you know are you looking for a flowers or what are you looking for for me to do um, I loved doing this multimedia uh, mixed media painting this is a treasure it really is beautiful I'll take some really pretty pictures I hope that I'll be able to stick on here that y'all can see and I appreciate you and if you're not a subscriber and you're thinking about it I sure encourage you to do so I try to be entertaining and try to keep our videos uh, moving so that you're not bored um, please you know any feedback that would be awesome thumbs up thumbs down subscribe follow jump up and down have a good day I love everybody have a good one till the next one it's coming. Bye.